I'm Jerry Atkinson, General Manager of Bell County Water Control and Improvement District Number One. I've been uh, General Manager here 11, 11, going on my 11th year. Bell County Water Control and Improvement District One is a regional water and wastewater facility. We have a 90 million gallon a day water treatment plant. Uh, we also have three wastewater plants and one composting facility. The decision was actually made to uh, build the facility uh, in 2005. Uh, at that particular time, the district was disposing its biosolids on beneficial land use sites. In other words, we were applying the biosolids to the land. Uh, we were also obtaining permits from individuals. Uh, we were going through the permitting process to use uh, farms uh, and things of that nature uh, as it accumulated in the sewer plant. About that same time, uh, there was articles in the Clean Daily Herald uh, that the city of Colleen, Texas, was having a problem with determining what they were going to do with their brush collection. Uh, at that time, they were taking their brush collection and disp uh, disposing it or putting it on an old closed subtitle D landfill adjacent to a transfer station. They would let the brush accumulate uh, there and then they would bring in or they would hire a company to come in and grind uh, the, the brush up. The primary work was to uh, uh, start drafting the permit first of all and then to determine, it, and to determine uh, how much product that we would have uh, and a, uh, a recipe, uh, if you will, for mixing uh, the biosolids with a bulking agent uh, to determine how much product that we were going to have. That had to be done first so we'd know how big a site to build. Okay, And so once that work was done, uh, then we began to look at the layout of the land. Uh, we began to discuss what would be environmentally friendly to the citizens of Colleen. And so it was um, developed where the curing sites would be uh, in the lower areas of the composting facility to stay out of the wind in case there was uh, odors uh, caused from the hydration of the piles. Uh, and uh, then we also talked about uh, the facility layout as to where citizens would understand where to come in, where to pick up their product, uh, and the ease of how they would know what to do when they come on site. Uh, one of the things that we had been told uh, or that we had observed visiting other sites is that the landscaping or the aesthetics of facilities and the odors uh, people didn't really like uh, those type of things, so we addressed those. We spent $123,000 on landscaping alone uh, to sod the entire compound that wasn't concreted in. Uh, we, we sodded that, we got a sprinkler system in, and we planted over 100 trees uh, to uh, uh, make the facility very pleasing to the, to, to the eyesight. Well, we have uh, two treatment plants and each of those treatment plants we have biosolids that are produced that we have to get rid of. And so we'll bring them out here to the compost site. Uh, they're about um, 11 miles out of town is where we have the compost site. So we'll bring them out here and we'll put them in a uh, pen out here, kind of a holding pen. And it's um, an area where we drop everything off right there and we dump it. <clears throat> and then uh, we got brush coming out from the city of Colleen. They'll bring their own brush out and uh, they'll put it in another area over near our grinders. And we'll grind up that brush and mix it with our biosolids that we come, have coming out from the treatment plants. And uh, we'll mix the two. And our mix is about a 1 to a 1.5 with a 1.0 of sludge or biosolids and a 1.5 of brush. And we'll take that and mix it into a, a rose uh, for composting. Now on the rose, <clears throat> we'll lay down about a, uh, I don't know how many cubic yards of brush, we'll lay it down first, and then we'll come back behind that and put a, low, a layer of biosolids on top of that. And then another layer of brush on top of that. So now we have a row that looks sort of like a made-up made up burrito. And then we'll take the uh, compost turner and run it over the compost row there and turn everything in place, and then it'll start heating up. Those windrows uh, that we have now are approximately 200 feet long by about 7 feet high and about 18 feet wide. 
There is a minimum curing time of 45 days once the uh, temperature of the composting row uh, reaches 113 degrees. There's at least a 45 day curing time, a minimum of 45 days. It can be longer, uh, but it can't be shorter uh, than, than 45 days. Uh, the temperature that we take on, on, on the piles are taken daily. They're about ever 40 to 50 feet apart. We take the average of those to make sure that that, that wind row is in compliance with whatever the temperature that it's supposed to be. Um, once it has cured, uh, once the temperature starts falling back down to ambient temperature levels, uh, then that is moved to the uh, final site, uh, the wind row is, to where it sets another few days uh, and then it goes through of a mere screener. Uh, and then it is screened with a 3-8 screen or a screen that we have uh, uh, from the Vermeer screener. And then that product is set aside and ready uh, for sale. We are already on the TextDots website for an approved facility. Uh, we have already uh, achieved that uh, as well. Uh, we have also sent out 86 or 87 letters to TextDot contractors as well as to uh, users in, in our area within a, a 50 mile radius such as landscapers, nurseries, uh, anybody who might use the product.